Hello. And welcome to the booming quiz, the gold master and the buddy butter. Evening, how we doing? Get your pen and paper ready. Same again we're gonna do. Five rounds, five questions per round equals 25 questions. Round one is music. So we've got the music, I'm not getting muted tonight. song I'm sure you've heard that song but what was the band called that's question one there you go question one what was the name of that band who did that song and that's question one come on Easy start. I'm making it easy this week, you know, because I got told off, I think. Too hard. Do you want it too hard or too soft? Do you know what I mean? Right, question two. Which singer has the most UK number one singles ever? So that's which singer has the most UK singles? Number one singles ever. Question three, who has that tattooed on their arm? Heinz tomato ketchup tattooed on their arm and always carries a bottle or two on tour. I mean, it's all right, but it's not that good. So that's question three, who has a bottle of Heinz? Oh, who's a tattoo of Heinz ketchup on their arm? Uh, yeah. And carries a bottle or two of it on tour. And all Christopher. Right, question four is uh, these three artists who has the most followers on Instagram? Is it Jennifer Lopez, Katy Perry, or Nicki Minaj? Don't put your answers on the screen. Put it on your pen and paper and play the game. Or he'll disqualify you next week. He, do, he knows what he's doing. Butter will sort you out. And I'll make him extra hard and you'll never get nothing. You won't but Google them because I'll make them stupid. All right. So question four. Out of these three artists, who has the most followers on Instagram, is it? Jennifer Lopez. Katy Perry or Nicki Minaj. No cheating, no commenting. All right. Play the game. Stop being soft. Yes, yeah, Oz. Don't put the answers on, please. That's don't put the answers on real, have you? Michael Scully, if you put the answer on, I'll kill you. Right. Question five. Final question of the music, round one. Which band sang the final countdown? Don't put the answers on the screen. I mean, I'm doing it live, so you can't Google cheat. Just get your pen and paper, play with your dog or your cat or yourself in the mirror or your family, friend, whatever. And you can swap papers when you do it. I mean, that's the way it goes. Question five, which band Sang the final countdown. Evening, Alex. Hope you're playing. Get your pen and paper. Join on, lad. Right, let's move on. Question, round two is TV and film. Question one. 
in Man of Steel, what does the S stand for on Superman's costume? That's question one. In Man of Steel, what does the S stand for on Superman's costume? Write it down if you know it. Question two. Name the building in the film Dyad. Number two, name the building in the film Die Hard. This is my downing one. Question three. Name the killer in the film Friday the 13th. It's question three. Name the killer in the film Friday the 13th. Write it down, have a guess. Question four. I'm the king of the world! What film is that from? Come on, come on, it's easy, it's easy. I'm the king of the world! What film's that from? Tony Scott's watching. Hello! Lovers like candy on a shelf. I might see you next year, hopefully, Tony. Right, question five. In what film would you find these three characters? Jimmy Dimmick, Pumpkin, and Vincent Vega. You alright, Emma? How's it going? So question five, in what film would you find these three characters? Jimmy, Dimmick, Pumpkin, Vincent Vega. Can't stop touching my face. I'm going to get something. Go on, Jason, get on, lad. Right, that was TV and film round two. Uh, might be here for it. Am I frozen? Does anyone else say I'm frozen? Oh, we're going swimmingly. Bowen, is it is it all in sync this? <whistles> you can comment that if it is. Round three is the booming round. Band related. Question one. Where was Booming's first ever gig? Cheers, Amy. Cheers, Charlie. So question one. Where was Boomin's first ever gig? Clear in Cumbria. Right, we're all right there. I'll fly! I'm all right, yeah. Tony, Scott in Benidorm. Share internet, pal. Get it sorted, lad. Question two. I'm sure you've got this album. But which track is 11? Name track 11 on this album. Don't go looking. Blowing the dust off. So that's question uh, two. Name track 11 on the original Junkie album. Sorry, I've touched my nose again. Hey Emma, how's it going? Question three. What is Ed's favorite karaoke bar called? So that's question three. What is Ed's favourite karaoke bar called? Question four. The dance version of You Somebody on Clubland TV features Rory on guitar in the music video. But who is the artist? So that's question four, dance version of Use Somebody on Clubland TV. Rory features on guitar in the music video. But who is the artist? That was question four. Going insane, Charlie, like going insane. Not really. And question five of round three. 
What is the total number of followers combined for Booming? On Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube together. Put a guess down for that. If you're in the thousand, I'll let you go a thousand over, a thousand under. There's no Bruce Forsyth here. Not one pound over. I'll give you a thousand bracket to get a point. So what is the total number of followers combined for booming on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube? I wish it was that, Charlie, but it's not. And there's 32 of you watching. Have you got a question for me? What about a quiz question for the master and Buddha? See if he knows the answer. And if I get it right, I'll eat that. You can message a question if you want. We're at halfway. What do you reckon? Are we too busy uh, writing answers now? <laughs> Nobody wants to play with me. Round four is the alcohol round. Where well, we all lack a beer now and then, don't we? Question one. What two ingredients make a cheeky Vimto? Simple as that. Made them easy for you. Question one. What two ingredients make a cheeky Vimto? Google cheaters, he'll watch you. Question two, what does IPA stand for? It's Lorraine Crosby, Jason. Ew. So that's question two, what does IPA stand for? I'm having my gold bonus now. Excuse me. Question three. Who is the manufacturer of Grey Goose? Question three. Who is the manufacturer of Grey Goose? Not my cat. Cheers, J Lab. She's a good friend of Booming. So there you go. Question four. What ingredients make a Tinto Verano? Tara. Common in Spain. Tony Scott should know that. So that's question four. What ingredients make a Tinto Verano? Common in Spain. And question five, final question in round four is, what drink is known as Wife Peter? It's question five, what is, what drink is known as Wife Peter? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No new CDs yet, no. We're working on two. We're going to get double at once. All right, final round, round five, general knowledge. Let's have it. Question one. Come on, I made it easy. What is the colour of the front door of number 10 Downing Street? So that's what is the colour of the front door? Of number 10 Downing Street. Question 2. Which was founded first? Burger King or KFC? Don't put the answers on the uh, comments. Or you're not coming next week. Work my idea it is. So that's question two, which was founded first, Burger King or KFC? 
Charlie, I won't say you again, son. Or you'll be banned. Butter's in charge, not me. Question three, if there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? So question three, if there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? Question four, what animal is visible in every Toblerone bar? That's question four, what animal is visible in every Toblerone bar? Final question, question five. Finish the chat up line. How much does a polar bear weigh? That's question five. Finish the chat up line. How much does a polar bear weigh? And for one bonus point, Final at the end. 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens, how many didn't? Put that down for your bonus points at the end. 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens, how many didn't? No conferring. All right, Wendy, join in. So the answer's next. <laughs> we'll get it shared. Anyone who's watching, click share. It's lockdown fun. Paying the rent, I don't know. That's it, questions are done. You made it. Right, let's get the answers in. Music, round one. Answer one. Do I don't have to repeat the question here? Is that right? Repeat the question, yeah. So we rephrase. So that song I played. There she goes. She goes again. It's by the Lars. That's the answer to number one. The Lars. Not the LAs. Not the Los Angeles. Not the Beatles. The Lars. Question two, which singer has the most UK number one singles ever? Think big. Uh-huh. Elvis Presley. That's the answer. So question two, answer is Elvis Presley. Who has that tattooed on their arm? Question three, is Ed Sheeran? Those who commented, very good. Thank you. So that's answer number three is Ed Sheeran. Uh, you didn't comment right on this one though, did you? Number four, who has the most followers on Instagram? Is it Jennifer Lopez, Katy Perry or Nicki Minaj? It is Jennifer Lopez. With 120 million. Katy Perry's got 95 million. Nicki Minaj has got 114 million. So JLo got in there. Booty! And number five, which band sang the song? Final countdown is Europe. So that's answer number five is Europe. Number two, round two, TV and film. Forgot about doing this. <laughs> is uh, in Man of Steel what does the S stand for on Superman's costume it's hope to give you hope that's answer number one TV film is hope I forgot to say swap your papers you know what I mean got too excited number two name the building in the Die Hard film it's Nakatomi Plaza. All right, Graham, join the answers. 
Number two is Nakatomi Plaza. Name the building in the film Die Hard. Question three, name the killer in the film Friday the 13th. It's Jason's mother. Pamela Voorhees. Do you not remember watching Scream? I'm sure my age here. He give you the answer. It was like a trick question, so. But there you go. If you're not, if you've got Jason's mother, I'll give you a point. Number four. I'm the king of the world. Woo! Come on, you must have seen that. It's Titanic. There you go. Leonardo DiCaprio, Titanic is number four. And question five, in what film would you find these three characters? Jimmy Dimmick, Pumpkin, Vincent Vega. The answer was Pulp Fiction. So the answer to that, number five, was Pulp Fiction. Round three is the booming round. Where was Boomin's first ever gig? That was question one. The answer is Chanley Arms. Standish. And if you got that, you were good. So that's question one is Chanley Arms. Standish. Number two, name track 11 on here. Original jump case. The answer is just a cover band. Back to front. Just a cover band is the answer. Number two. Question three. What is Ed's favourite karaoke bar called? Black Chicken in Benidorm. Shout out to Tony if you're still there. That's answer number three is Black Chicken Benidorm. Ah, oh, you missed it. What did you put then, Lindsay? Number four, the dance version of You Somebody on Clubland TV features Rory on guitar in the music video. But who is the artist? It is Ultra Beat. That's answer number four is Ultra Beat. see how you got on with this number five what is the total number of followers combined on facebook instagram twitter and youtube for booming it is thirty three thousand six hundred and ninety three might have been 90 now we've lost three <laughs> so yeah if you're in a thousand bracket i'll give you a point that's three three six nine three all right number four round four alcohol round Woo. number one what two ingredients make a cheeky vipto it is pot and blue wicked just have to confer that's number one pot and blue wicked 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 Question two, what does IPA stand for? It is Indian Pale Ale. That is Indian Pale Ale for answer number two. You put 34K. Well, I'll give you a point, I'll give you a thousand over. Get it on, Amy, very good, very good. There's no Bruce Forsyth here. Pound over. I'll give it you. Because it's nice to see you. To see you nice. Where were we? Sorry. Number, answer number two is Indian Pale Ale. Number three. What is the manufacturer of Grey Goose? The answer is Bacardi. Answer number three is Bacardi. Is he called Ron Bacardi? Or is that just Del Boy making it up? Number four, what ingredients make a Tinto Verano? 
common in Spain. It's red wine and lemonade. So that's answer number four is red wine and lemonade. If you've not tried it, give it a go. But next time it's sun shining because it's good. Excuse me. And question five, what drink is known as wife beater? It's Stella Artoris. So it's number five is Stella Artoris. Or Stella Artois. Is that what the proper saying? I don't know. But Nicky Flanagan says it better, doesn't he? Right. Round five. General knowledge. Answers. Let's clow on through and get to it. Number one. What is the colour of the front door of number 10 Downing Street? It is... Black. The number one is black. Question two. Which was found in first Burger King or KFC? The answer was... KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. It was 1952 founded. Burger King was 1954. Oh, I'll give you two years. I was a bit sneaky, but the Colonel brought it first. Question three: If there are six apples and you take away four, how many do you have? You got four, ain't you? Easy. So the answer for three is four. Question four. What animal is visible in every Toblerone bear? Anyone got a Toblerone? Look in the logo. It's a bear. It is a bear. Grizzly bear. Number four is bear. And question five. Boom. Finish the chat up line, how much does a polar bear weigh? The answer is, I don't know, but it broke the ice. Works every time, give it a go next time you're out, which might be next year. So that's question five, I don't know, but it broke the ice. And for your bonus point, 26 questions in total. 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens, how many didn't? The answer is 10. 28 chickens. There you go. There you know. You all know. The answer is 10. Okay, so the answers were all out of 26. Comment, see how you did. If you can give us a share, I love you. Thank you. All makes, all helps, all tries to compete with uh, China, Boris Johnson and all the rest of them. I have been the gold master, he's been the Buddha. We'll hopefully be back gigging soon. Thank you. Bye bye.